Okay, today we're going to show you a uh, Deckel S11 tool and cutter grinder. Uh, this machine right now is currently wired for 440 volts and we have it equipped with a, um, a 50 taper uh, index, universal index head with a buck six jaw high precision uh, chuck that mounts in the 50 taper with a drawbar in the back here and as you see we, this can be rotated uh, this, can, uh, be, this angle can be changed, the whole thing can be rotated this way and when we take this accessory cover off there's different accessories such as a motor and a few other options that can be purchased separately and mounted onto here. This whole unit here uh, is, slides back and forth along the top of this space and can be uh, set any way you want it. This entire slide with the, just the moving of this uh, bottom piece here can be well, first we have this slide, which is on roller bearings, it moves very cautiously and we'll show you when we move the camera later that on this side you can control your, your infeed and, or whatever with these micrometers stops on this side. There's also a nice accessory that would bolt over here that gives you a, uh, a hand wheel for this operation. A lot of people like that. And then again, this whole base here can swivel and then with unlocking this, the whole thing can be brought, can be brought forward. I don't have this slide locked down right now. Let me just lock this top slide. So there's a lot going on there. I'm just going to move this back out of the way. And there's safety stops in the T-slots in the here so that this can't come sliding off <clears throat> and drop on your foot. The wheel head here, um, you have a fine adjustment at the top. Also, you have a rapid up and a rapid down. Uh, this is a nozzle and hosing for a vacuum. We don't ha currently have a vacuum with this machine, but a uh, shop vac could be adapted to this, and it's just, you know, it's, it's all original stuff. Over here, there's additional uh, index plates for the headstock. If you use this in the indexing mode, um, I'm not quite sure what's in there now, but these will all be written up on the quotation. This is a 40 taper to 50. In other words, you could take this chuck out, and this is a 50 taper here with a 40 a taper tool in there. And this would get uh, trapped in there with this outer ring, and now you could work with, uh, if you only had a 40 taper tooling, and that would mean collets and other kinds of tooling that could go in the 40 taper head. This uh, spindle itself uh, can be moved, uh, launch it, uh, axially in and out. There's a micrometer adjustment that I'm turning with my left hand over here that you'll see in the photos or when we move the whole thing if I loosen uh, this lever right over here can be tilted in different angles. There's a witness mark at the top here. So there's a lot of stuff here. This, this slide <coughs> slides around very nicely on precision rollers and again it won't slide off the table on you and you can configure it and spin it and twist it and turn it and do, do a lot of stuff with it that I'm really not all that familiar with but uh, there's lots of information on these machines on the, on the internet. This is the Deckel S11 tool and cutter grinder here at Machinery Values. I'll take a walk around it. This slide has uh, got a, a nice feed here. And again, this whole thing can be twisted around so that you're using this to feed in and out with your tools. Everything can be adjusted in all kinds of ways. You have variable speed for the spindle. This is the knob for your, uh, I'm going to call it your axial adjustment in, in and out. Micrometer stops here. There's a linear scale down here. Uh, and you can also uh, reverse the direction of the, of the spindle. It goes clockwise and, and counterclockwise. So that's it. That's the Decal S11. Thank you.